The FIA's decision to ban political statements has been met with incredibly mixed reactions. It's taken some time, but the drivers and team bosses have consulted their lawyers and now seem confident in what they can say and how they can fight it, if they want to. For many of them, it isn't about the ability to say what they want, it's about the FIA attempting to suppress their right to speak. Want to find out what the drivers and teams have to say and how they might fight this ban? Then stick around for the rest of the video. Let's start off by looking at exactly what the FIA did that pissed off the paddock. Formula 1 drivers will need prior written permission from the sport's governing body to make political statements from next season, following an update of the International Sporting Code. The 2023 version of the code, which applies to all series sanctioned by the International Automobile Federation or FIA, was published on the governing body's website with changes highlighted. The FIA added a new clause regarding the general making and display of political, religious and personal statements, or comments notably in violation of the general principle of neutrality promoted by the FIA under its statutes. Drivers who make such statements will now be in breach of the rules unless the FIA has granted previous approval in writing. So what is it that the FIA are actually trying to stamp out with this? It isn't like the drivers have been using their time on the podium to support Donald Trump's next presidential run. Swapping the Pirelli caps for a MAGA cap would not be a good move for the sport, though I wouldn't put it past the FIA. Mercedes seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton and now-retired four-time champion Sebastian Vettel have been amongst those making political statements in another sense at races in recent seasons. Hamilton, who's been an outspoken campaigner for human rights and diversity, wore a black t-shirt at the 2020 Tuscan Grand Prix with the words, Arrest the cops who killed Breonna Taylor on the front. The shirt also had a photograph of the black medical worker who was shot dead in her Louisville, Kentucky apartment by police officers with Say Her Name written underneath. The FIA set out new pre- and post-race rules for driver attire after that Grand Prix. Hamilton has also called for more change in Saudi Arabia, saying this year that he was shocked to hear of mass executions and has raced in the Middle East with a rainbow helmet in support of LGBTQ rights. Vettel used his platform to highlight issues from LGBTQ rights to climate change. This year, he wore a shirt proclaiming Stop Mining Tar Sands, and Canada's climate crime at the Canadian Grand Prix. In 2021, he wore a rainbow-colored t-shirt in Hungary with the message Same Love to protest against anti-LGBTQ legislation. These aren't statements supporting some terrible cause, they're just bringing attention to a lack of racial and sexual equality in certain countries. And everyone likes the environment. Why ban a statement supporting it? We could understand if Vettel has stood in his post-race interview and encouraged people to vandalize the Canadian tar sands, or Hamilton had asked people to riot in support of Black Lives Matter. While none of these statements are that bad, they do hurt the FIA in another way. The Canadian government will have been on the phone to the FIA complaining, as will the Hungarians, but it is the complaints from the Arabian Peninsula that will hurt the most. A large portion of Formula One's money comes from the Arabian Peninsula in the form of sponsorship and payments to host races. We're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars a year, and when someone is funding you with that kind of money, you listen to them. I'm a big believer in the sport, said FIA President Ben Salehm, speaking to the media while visiting the Dakar rally earlier this month in Saudi Arabia. We are concerned with building bridges. You can use sport for peace reasons and all of this. But one thing we don't want is to have the FIA as a platform for private personal agenda. We will divert from the sport. You can understand where he's coming from. He doesn't want an entire weekend of sport to be distracted from by one driver making a statement or wearing something provocative. But was this the right way to go about it? That is hard to say. McLaren boss Zach Brown admits that the FIA's stance is a tricky one, as certain topics deserve to be brought under the spotlight and debated. It's tricky, right? Because some of the topics are really good, some are controversial, some are polarizing, the McLaren boss said. I think in general we want to be a sport that is doing good. We just need to find a balance there and not have every start of a race being a new political agenda for someone. I don't think that's healthy as it can detract from what everyone is tuned into, which is they want to watch a Grand Prix. Many believe the FIA is following a course set out by FIFA, which prohibited players and officials from wearing the One Love rainbow armband at the World Cup in Qatar recently. I'm not sure if something triggered it. I don't know if it's coming out of the World Cup and it being a big topic there, Brown said. Politics is tricky by nature. That's what they're probably, at a macro level, trying to avoid is let's not have Formula 1 become a political hotbed for various topics. But it is damned if you do, damned if you don't. 
on some of these topics, I think that's what they're trying to avoid. Let's not turn Formula 1 into a political sport. Let's go racing and be respectful of where we're racing. Zach is one of the few people in the sport who has spoken in favor of the rule change. So what are the drivers and teams who are against the restrictions of their free speech by the FIA saying? Lewis Hamilton has said that he would rather not race again than not speak up against racism. In an interview with the New York Times, Hamilton spoke about the many barriers that are still in place despite everything that's been done so far to fight against racism and inequality. He explained, I've definitely seen so much growth within myself over several years now. But 2020 was hugely impactful in terms of my spirit and how strong and empowered I felt to stand up and be outspoken. Regardless of what the outcome would be in terms of if you have people unhappy, just knowing that things needed to be said, needed to be done, because there are so many people struggling. I would rather not race again and have done that and spoken out for people than continue to do what I was doing. How the FIA handles their most popular and outspoken driver with this ban will be interesting to witness. Those closest to Hamilton are playing down how bad it could get for now, though. But perhaps there is more going on behind the scenes. While the FIA's heavy-handed tactics were criticized for being an unnecessary move, Hamilton's team boss Toto Wolff is open-minded about exactly how draconian things will be. He also suggests that while the wording of the rule seems quite overbearing, the reality of how matters will be handled by FIA President Mohammed Ben Salem could be quite different. You need to see how this really pans out, he explained. We understand that sports are here to not make politics, but on the contrary, unite. I have no doubt that Mohammed and the FIA mean well to achieve the right things. It's just about aligning that with the drivers that have been outspoken in the past. Every time I know when Mohammed has spoken to Lewis or the other way around, it has ended up in a positive conversation. So I have no doubt that once people sit at a table together, things will not appear as harsh as when they're being written down in the off-season. Wolf does point out a side of this that's easily overlooked. While the FIA has said that the drivers cannot make statements without their permission, we don't yet know how aggressively they will deny requests to make a statement. It may be that once the rule is in place, we actually see no difference in how much the drivers are allowed to speak. We'll just have to wait and see about that, though. Another person close to Hamilton took a much stronger line against the new rule. Hamilton's former Mercedes teammate Valtteri Bottas has made clear that he's unimpressed with the governing body's desire to control the driver's freedom of expression. Personally, I don't like politics, Bottas told Sweden's expression during last weekend's Race of Champions. I like to do what I love, which is racing, but politics is at the same time part of today's society. I think Formula One has done a good job of paying attention to some of these kinds of issues, and many drivers have raised their voices, including Sebastian Vettel. I do not understand why they want to control us. I think we should have the right to talk about what we want. That is how I see it, but we'll see what happens. What's your opinion on the FIA's ban? Do you see the drivers taking a stance against it and saying what they want despite the rule change? Or do you think that the FIA can handle the situation and keep everyone happy? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below and on your way down, don't forget to subscribe in preparation for the 2023 season. Until next time, drive safe and bye for now.